Japanese women may be falling out of love with the obligation chocolates tradition that sees them give chocolate to male colleagues and acquaintances on Valentine's Day. The practice, which started in the 1950s, was invented by a chocolate company in a twist on the West's version of February 14. But Jirei Choco, which translates as obligation chocolate, is starting to lose popularity as women push back against societal and workplace pressure and increasingly buy chocolate for friends or themselves. A recent survey from a Japanese department store found about 60% of women will buy chocolates for themselves on Valentine's Day. Only 35% plan to offer chocolates to their male colleagues. I in the 1980s, confectionery companies introduced White Day on March 14, when men can return the favor and buy a sweet treat for women. Giving chocolate on Valentine's Day can still be a romantic gesture in Japan and women will often give Hanmei Choco or True Feelings chocolate to their partners. But Japan is in the midst of a marriage crisis. By 2015, a record 23% of men and 14% of women were unmarried by age 50, according to the National Institute of Population and Social Security Research. Last year, Belgian chocolatier Irga Diva criticized obligation chocolates with a full-page ad calling for an end to the practice. Japan consumed US $5.39 billion worth of chocolate in 2017, according to a survey by Mortar Intelligence.